are two notable developments in the digitalization of trade finance. ETDA. ETDA grants electronic trade documents the same legal standing as their traditional paper counterparts. This legislation aims to provide greater flexibility to UK businesses and participants in a substantial share of global trade transactions governed by English law. It also promises to significantly trim the time and cost associated with international trade transactions while lessening the environmental footprint caused by paper documentation. XDC Trade Network XDC Trade Network is a suite of decentralized applications DAPs, operating on the XDC network. It is committed to reshaping the landscape of global trade finance by spearheading the digitization of the entire process. XDC Trade Network is collaborating with a network of partners and solution providers to achieve model law on electronic transferable records MLETR, solutions into operability and provide funding for trade documents developed on MLETR compliant platforms. XDC Trade Network is now inviting trade participants to join their pilot program by simply submitting a form. This offers a first-hand experience of the end-to-end -end digital process and access to funding from the alternative funding community. The impact of digitalization on trade finance. The digitalization of trade finance has the potential to significantly improve its efficiency, transparency, and accessibility. For example, electronic trade documents can reduce the time and cost of trade transactions by eliminating the need for physical documentation and manual processing. Additionally, blockchain technology can be used to create a secure and tamper-proof record of trade transactions, which can improve transparency and reduce the risk of fraud. Overall, the digitalization of trade finance is a positive development that has the potential to benefit all stakeholders involved. Conclusion The UK's ETDA and XDC Trade Network's pilot program are two notable examples of the progress being made in the digitalization of trade finance. These developments are helping to make trade more efficient, sustainable, and accessible for businesses around the world. Government's interest expense will increase more between 2022 and 2024 than in the 51 years. Interest expense will increase more between 2022 and 2024 than in the 51 years prior. And with about 30% of government debt that needs to be rolled over the next 12 months, this could become a big, big drag on the economy. Now, the second way it affects the economy is corporate borrowers. Corporate debt is similar to government debt in which it's not do at the same time, adding to this lag effect. Now, most companies, sort of like the government, they spread out their debt, so there's only a small amount that's actually maturing in the one year. So it can take time until the more expensive debt replaces the cheaper maturing debt.